going on everybody it's patrick midtown outdoors I want to welcome you to our video from rock island state park didn't do a whole lot of video in in the park while we were together as me and chase went uh this was the first time me and him had been camping in quite some time together so i kept the videoing with him to a minimum um what we're doing is we're driving up to the first campgrounds you'll come to um for RVing and that kind of stuff. We stayed in the tent sites. Uh, we'll give you a fair warning. The tent sites are level, um, but there is a hike from the site we were at, which was number 56, which is one of the biggest sites in the park as far as in the tent camping only. Um, but it is also the furthest from the bathroom. So keep that in mind. Um, they do have Wi-Fi at the RV sites, but they do not have Wi-Fi at the tent camping. So in Cellular, especially Verizon, it was very, very weak. Um, but we finally got service, decent enough service to do things. Um, so anyway, one of the biggest things... Um, I noticed as far as if you're you're going to camp there and you don't pick a tent site to set up a tent if you try to stay in the RVing sites you're going to run into one little problem and as you'll see we're turning in here to the RV sites um, the all of the RV sites have asphalt pads uh, they do have water hookups. All the camping sites, I'll say this, all the camping sites in the campgrounds have water and electric, but no sewer. There's a sewer dumping station, so remember that too. There are bathrooms located in all the campgrounds. Um, pretty nice bathrooms from what I could tell. The one we had was, um, had no problems with it. But like I said, if you staying where we stayed and had to go to the bathroom down there you got in the truck and drove because it was it was a slight hike okay i want to throw in a footnote real quick um just a quick heads up on this if you come to rock island make sure you come with all your food that you're going to need make sure you have all the stuff you need because there is no uh camp store at rock island they do have the main office, which has souvenir t-shirts, that kind of stuff, but they do not have a camp store like you would find at some other campgrounds. So make sure you have all your provisions, because um, if you forgot something, you're probably going to have to go back to town, and it's a good little drive from Rock Island to um, a, a nearest town. Okay, this next part we're coming up to um, was the cabins. At Rock Island State Park and let me tell you I've been to several state parks including uh, Fall Creek Falls which is crown jewel of the state parks I think um, these are some of the nicest cabins I have ever seen in person I mean they they're more like a really nice house than they are a cabin um, so I didn't go in one or get to look inside one or anything, but I will say they are really nice looking on the outside. So I can just imagine what they're like on the inside. Saying that, they're probably going to be a little bit on the expensive side. Okay, guys, so I'm going to wrap up the video here. The reason why you come to um, Rock Island State Park is this river. You can kayak, you can fish, you can swim, you can do whatever you want to at this river. Um, we saw many fish biting through the river as we were standing there. There are also numerous waterfalls in the park. There are some hikes to get to them, but there are some numerous waterfalls. This is just a small one that was there. You could hear them throughout the park at night when you were sleeping in the tents. So that's pretty much it for this video. I want to tell everybody thank you for watching. Um, when we go back, we'll do a lot more video in the next time. But this is what you get this time. We had a good time. It was great. Less than 24 hours. But hey, it was a thing. So with that said, be prepared.